have a urologist that I'm going to see today. I'm trying to get all my specialists and get all new specialists while we're here. I'm not seeing as many as in Australia because I want a break, but I need a urologist and a pain specialist there a must. I'm due for bladder Botox. So I gotta go chat to him because apparently you don't have to go into surgery bladder Botox in America. You can do it in the doctor's office. So I've gotta go talk to him about that. And while we're there, we gotta go to Bar Taco and eat lots of tacos. We just went and saw Dr. Seskin and he was really lovely. I just didn't expect to build a rapport that quickly. But he said he's going to do Botox next Friday in his doctor's office. He said he had a bit of trepidation because I have a resistant bacteria in my why not? And usually I have to get like two weeks of antibiotics every time I get Botox. IV antibiotics. For some reason the test came back and it's sensitive to oral antibiotics. So I can take that instead of getting IV in the hospital. So that's like the best thing that's happened to me all year. And the Botox in the office office will be like an hour at the max basically. Yeah, it's it takes minutes in the chair and then Yeah, it literally takes five minutes through the Botox. And when I'm in um, Australia, I'm in a hospital for like a week minimum. It's every like three to four months too, so it's a lot. So this is great. And he was like real cautious and yeah. Cautious so, but also positive. Positive, yeah. So yeah, I have Botox next Friday. And, and then we've got a week and a half to recover before we go to Mexico. Yeah, perfect. As long as your cultures come back. Yeah, they're going to do another urine sample to check that bug just to make sure. And then they have like happy gas and stuff to make you comfortable there. So. But he did say that your meds are probably stronger yeah. than his happy gas. Yeah, so my daily meds. I would just take some happy gas for fun. Just hold it in and then give it to me. The other day we like filmed us going to the pain specialist and being like fuck we're never going to be able to do this. It was just really difficult. They wanted me to be drug tested every couple of weeks. She wouldn't give me the right amount of meds. She said that like they're really nervous about giving away the type of meds I'm on because I'm on morphine and oxy but they're the only meds that actually work. Yeah so we went to this pharmacist that was recommended to us and he was like you need to see this pain specialist. I work with him closely. We'll give you the meds. It's fine. Blah blah. blah. You don't have to be a Florida um citizen you don't have to have a social security number so then we just came to this guy he's about an hour from our home and i had an intake with a nurse which was five minutes and then i had an appointment with him and it was five minutes long and then he just sent all my meds to the pharmacy and he gave me like what i need and i don't have to argue it so it was really easy and then i just come back once a month and if i'm away i can come earlier or later and it doesn't matter the other pain specialist told me i had to come on a certain date and if I didn't come, then she would halve my meds because she knew I didn't need them. She would think I'm an addict if I didn't come on the certain date and get drug tested on that date. It had to be every 28 days I had to go there, no matter if I was in Mexico and stuff. So this seems smooth so far. Yeah, it's good. And hopefully I spot an alligator. Do you think a crocodile alligator is just an iguana that's grown big? Yes. Yeah. I cure it. There we go. Fantastic. Did I go pay? Poor guy was like staring at me. He was like, uh, you have to go upstairs. Where are you from? Australia. A bit far from home, hey? People say that's where I'm from. I'm from London. Yeah. yeah. Driver's yeah. license or passport because they won't let you have yeah. it. They're really fussy in here. Yeah. So you're going to come? I'll grab your lead. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't controlled. There's a huge iguana up there. Is there? Oh, he's sitting on the tree. This dude. Chilling on a tree. We're in the swamp. Imagine if an alligator jumped out. They said there's no alligators in here, but there has been. Watch your head. Yes. Why are you always bringing up old shit? What did you say about it? You're reading the newspaper. I said, I'm going kayaking with Dad. Would you like to come? He said, No, I hate it. <laughs> and I said, Oh, well, I don't know if we could be together if you hate kayaking. And look at you now. Kayaking near 
around the world. Yeah, who said I like it? Hey? I didn't see it because your head was in the way. So I just missed it. Fine. Okay. That's what happens. <laughs> you shit. You shit. There he's still there. Where does this go? This better not just be the end. Funny that she didn't tell us where to go until I said, hey, where do we go? Yeah. And those other people just went off into the Yeah. Marina. Unless they know where to go. Yeah, you must be able to go over to that island over there. There's a bunch over on the beach on the day. Surprised they didn't give us a map or show me. Wow, and you can see out here. Yeah, this, at least this water looks better. Have you felt it? It feels oily. Oh, look, there's fish underneath us, right underneath us. Oh, no, they're big too. That was probably a million dollar boat when it was first built. Sure, look at the care on it. And then now it just looks run down and no one's on the fucking thing. Brad just lifted me out. I feel a bit nervous always asking people for help, but it makes it a thousand times easier. And people seem willing, like, pretty happy to help. We just missed Raccoon Island. What the fuck? If we'd known. We would have gone there, yeah. Instead, we went through the mosquitoes, through the swamp, and everyone had their snacks stolen by a raccoon. Could have made a grand. I bet Sally a grand that I could pat a raccoon. We'll be back tomorrow, I guess. Oh, yeah, could I have an ice cream? What would you like? Uh, some, like, fruit thing. So we're going to go to a pool that's close by. When you're disabled, you have to be so organised. So I just called four pools and asked about it, the access at all pools and if they have a hoist in and a lift in. And I like asked over and over because my foot is getting bitten. And I found one that's like 15 minute ride that they have a hoist and a ramp and he said he has everything there. And it's $3 to get in. So cash. Cash. Yeah. Old hard cash. I'll sort of give you a scoop. Yeah, I'm here. Fantastic, thank you. Ready? All good. Yep. That's that's good. Uh, 1980. Yeah, so, there. Uh, the pool. The pool. Oh, the pool. Uh, to your... Yeah. And then just go straight. Go straight ahead. Go in there. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Gracias. Ready? Aki. Yeah. Yeah. Aki. Yeah. Is that how you say it? Aki. <laughs> So 50% of people in Miami speak fluent Spanish and a tiny bit of English. We just went driving around the pool because he didn't know where to park or where we were going. And I was like so close to just pissing myself off. We've been trying to learn Spanish, but all our Spanish words went out the window. There's always a second entrance for wheelchairs. There's a, we noticed a ramp back there. We got to here and there's heaps of stairs. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure? I'm a hunter. Okay. I'm scared. I know. Okay. Actually, it feels like I could eat more snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the move real slow. Yeah. So you out there? What's your name? My name's Jameer. Oh, awesome. All right. I'm gonna go. Great. Thank you. No problem. It's fine. That's really helpful. Just give us a ring when it's time to exit. Great. Thank you. How good's just being able to get in and out easily. Like he was so helpful. And he was training everyone on it. Where's my girlfriend? I was like, she became Ariel. Yeah. I just think someone thought it got so much for it after my brain. So I gotta try backwards. I think I should just grab my legs and twist, okay? You have to like throw. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. You did a sideways one. Oh, that's really why this water's going up my nose. You need to, let me try to do it without using my legs. And out. Turn your abs off. You're not supposed to fuck your legs. I realised that I was doing it. Alice yeah. never wants to do this. I said to her once, come here, and then you're like, oh, you're one of those guys. <laughs> and then she came over you're to me and be like, the old 
when we were kayaking, he this was, told oh, this, me that well, I wasn't allowed to bring up. This was like stuff. a week ago you said it. Probably. A week, yeah, two, two, week two. history, though. Oh, you were bringing up like three years ago. Three oh, years. Longer than three. You're carrying me. <laughs> right now. All for the camera. <laughs> oh. Love you, too. <laughs> This is special for you. Look what Brad's about to do. I know you're missing making my booty shape. And I know we're not supposed to be doing it in a pool, but we're doing it in a pool. Yeah. <laughs> you're missing our fun. <laughs> trying to fix my lordosis while traveling. I don't know if this actually helps to make it worse. <laughs> it feels like I'm actually swimming though. Yes, it feels hot better. Does it? Yeah, booty looks good too. Thank you. I have to ask that like twice before <laughs> leaving. <laughs> Oh, Brad's just gone to put a towel on my chair. I have to pee really bad. And I was like, maybe I should just pee in the pool, but imagine the infection. Oh, I'm such a fucking hole. I love it. Your girlfriend is... I didn't want to like get out and then shower again at home, so I just showered here. And I washed my hair with soap that you use at the sink. And so... Yeah, so we're going to head home. I had to shower, so I'm ready to put jammies on or I'm going to go get a massage. Brad and I have been searching and seeing pain specialists. They're just worried about opioids. Like if everyone's seen the show Painkiller, they're really worried about that, which makes sense. But I obviously need them to function. And they know that, but they were like still worried. Our pharmacist, who's been so helpful. If we didn't find him, we would have to fly back to Australia to get my meds. So I just had all my meds sent to me. Delivered. Delivered. I don't have to do anything. So I've got Oxycontin, morphine, Lyrica and antibiotics for surgery that I have on Friday. Usually these are really hard to get. When I saw him, he ran heaps of tests on me and checked my back and we went through all my reports and stuff. So he's really thorough, but just really helpful. So we don't have to worry for a month. $280 for all this. In Australia, because I don't get the PBS because it's an MBA accident, it would have been about a grand. So it's cheaper. I boss that you hear about the US. It actually isn't any more expensive for all of this. I just think hospitals might be expensive. Like Nurofen? Was Dira. Neurofilm was Dira um, and Panadol was Panadol, Dira. Dira. The pain specialist was 370 In Australia, privately, it's 500 with uh, the exchange rates about the same. And then every month I go back to him, it's 175 which is the same as my pain specialist. The only problem is in Australia, you just go to your GP every few weeks. But here you have to pay 200 bucks to see the pain specialist. specialist. Yeah, and they're probably going to drug test me and run some tests on me to make sure I'm not using meds, which I'm happy to do. So now I'm going to... Take this and relax. Not all of them. At Not once. all of them. It's crazy. It's like we could have a band in here. I know you guys are wondering about traveling, but today we are taking you to look at my pee hole. No, just kidding. We are though. I'm going to get bladder Botox in the US. This is my first US medical procedure. I was allowed to just take antibiotics leading up to this instead of being in hospital. And then I'll go into the doctor's office. They'll put my legs up on stirrups. Hopefully they use local anesthetic. I read they do. And then they'll inject Botox. And I'm getting around 200 cc's in my bladder. And that should last four months, hopefully. That just stops all my bladder pain. I get extreme bladder spasms and it fucking hurts. Um, and I had Botox about four and a half months ago. And I have been awake nearly every night feeling it. It, so it's definitely time to do this and brad's goal today he wants to come and watch it yeah i think he'll let you to calm me down yeah. but then i'm not anxious so it's like maybe as we are driving i'm googling drug interactions of nitrous oxide i have such a distrust the medical community i wouldn't trust a doctor if he said yeah i won't mix with any of your meds i'm on so many meds that the doctors get confused sometimes so i don't trust the medical community which is sad your a lot of your meds are different combinations than yeah. what, what they got here like your oxy yeah they're all different names the brand names are different and, and just the mix yeah so i'm just looking up it says it helps with blood pressure, so it might be good. I just quickly put on my makeup. Do complimentary LA parking at the doctor's place. Different. So this is the blood shop. So my bladder will come up on there. 
I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do. Or is that, that goes into my bladder, I'm pretty sure. How are you feeling? I, oh, this isn't what I expected. Okay, what were you expecting? A little bit more surgical. Um, do you want to just pull my chair out? A bit nervous about my blood pressure. I don't feel nervous about the pain or anything, just my blood pressure. Because I've had a stroke from that before. A stroke. Mm -hmm. It felt uh, real painful and my blood pressure, I felt my blood pressure get high and I could feel every time they stabbed me. Um, and Brad held my legs, so I was scared I was going to kick the doctor. But it was easy. That was so easy. And I don't feel unwell right now. That took less than an hour and now we're going to get tacos. Are we? Yes. All right. we are. You may be thinking, this is you right in a bag. All right, it's lemonade. This is how I got it without a straw. And I don't have the dexterity to not pour this on myself. I'll be right. Cool. Are you supposed to tear it? I don't know. Like, did it have a tear thing? No. Oh, it tastes like that lemon that you squeeze that you, in Australia. It's in the yellow bottle. Yeah. What you doing, buddy? There's a squirrel over there. 